melting a 40 pound brick of lead with a propane heater. What are you using when I go camping? It's just cooking that thing down. I tried cutting it in pieces, but eventually I just broke down and got a cast iron pan. And uh, now it's time to break it down into smaller, more manageable ingots because I cannot fit that into that 20 pound mini melting pot. Anyways, as you can see, it is just melting away. And it's uh, kind of interesting to see a big giant brick turn into a mush. Anyways, uh, next we'll be pouring them into the little ingots. A little bit later, here we go. And you can see it's pretty well melted down, so pretty soon we have to start pouring the ingot mold. Uh, what I'm worried about is that the sucker is pretty, pretty darn full and it's going to be pretty difficult to manage. So I'll have to use two hands to be really careful not to uh, get it on my hands, but that's why I got these welder's gloves and we'll see how they work. Okay, we're now here with the big batch of lead here. It's probably around 30 pounds currently. Uh, we started out with a 40 pound block, but then we um, brought it down to a smaller size. What I'm going to be doing is adding some wax to it, basically some uh, flux, or um, it's just basically to start bringing out the uh, contaminants in out of the lead, start to bring them out to the surface, and then uh, basically it'll start cleaning up the lead so we can start casting the bolts with it. Anyways, I'm just going to toss a chunk of lead in there and you can see that it'll uh, start to smoke and then probably catch fire once I blow on it. I'm going to stir it around. I guess it's not. This is going to smoke. Anyway, got a lot of ventilation in here, so I'll be okay. But anyways, all it's basically doing is the wax is going to start to bring out all the contaminants in there. And I can have a nice, pure lead to start casting the bolts with. You see all that crud that it brought out to the surface, huh? I'm using this nice uh, dollar store special here. And we just start cleaning everything up, start scraping the bottom, start scraping the sides, bring everything in here. clean batch of lead and I can skim through it. There's a little, just barely any little bit of contaminants that I'm able to scrape off. So what it's basically doing is purifying that lead or the alloy. If there's any carbon based substance in there it's going to be pulling it out. So, currently this is a, a high grade or just a very pure lead, uh, so I'll be mixing it with tin or antimony later in order to, uh, in order to get a harder bullet type. But this, this is a nice little batch right here, and I'll be pouring it into those tin molds right there muffin tin molds to get uh, smaller ingots. <laughs> 